Because when we got to the airport, hey, <laughs> I was just like fish. They brought that of water. This house, I, I was just shivering. I could not even, I could not hide it. Please don't be like me. Bring your water. back to my channel welcome to my channel if this is your first time welcome to my channel welcome to my family i'm kiki lush and i hope you do well to subscribe and like this video if you're a returning subscriber oh this one is for you this one is for you thank you so much coming back and if you're not subscribed please do well to subscribe so guys today we are going to be talking about things to pack while coming abroad or to the uk or coming abroad in general things to pack and how to package them especially and pack them in order to avoid extra lo excess luggage so I will tell you my story. By now, visa don't land. Your visa has landed. Congratulations. <laughs> and right now, I think you're already thinking about, you know, where am I going to pack? How am I going to pack it? I don't want to go there. And be... don't worry, I got you all covered. First of all, we are going to talk about your luggage allowance, your baggage allowance. I don't know the airline you're using, but I think most airlines um, have a maximum of 23 kg per bag. I think 223 kg per bag. I used BA, so my limit was 23 kg per bag. 223 kg. What they mean by that is you one of your you should have two bags if you wish, or the maximum you can carry of the hand log of the luggages you're going to check in should be two. And each of those bags should weigh 23 kg max. It shouldn't be 24, it shouldn't be 25, or else you're going to be char charged for excess luggage. So, and at the same time, what they mean by 223 kg is, is not, I have 46 kg, so I can carry one bag that is weighing 46. No, they mean 223 kg. So even if you, your bag one is weighing 26 kg and your bag two is weighing 12 kg and you're like oh i still have space my dear they will charge you for that 26 kg it doesn't matter whether this one is filled up or not they will still charge you so we are going in this video later on in this video we're going to talk about how to equate those things second of all the best thing is to get a weighing scale if you can now for me i i couldn't I didn't have access to a weighing scale. I couldn't weigh my bag. I tried to get a weighing scale in order to avoid stories that touch. Concerning that weighing scale, now if you're able to weigh your bags, always try to give it a 1 kg allowance. Because you might weigh your bag at home now and you're seeing 22 kg or let me say 22.5 or 23 kg. And you're like, okay, I've not exceeded my limit, she. Then you get to the airport. And you're seeing 25 kg, you're seeing 24.5. So that's why I'd advise you to um, always give a 1 kg allowance. So you know, go the hear stories where, you know, no, they add up. So get a weighing scale. Seriously, it's important. Now getting to, let's get to the important things to pack. First off, I'm going to tell you to pack your documents your passport, your certificate, anything documents, pack them and make sure to put them in a hand, in your hand luggage. Don't put them in those bags you're going to check in. Put them in your hand luggage. If you can, photocopy at least, get a photocopy of, of each, what's that noise? Get a photocopy of your documents and you know put them in your hand luggage please we don't want to hear stories of oh this document is missing this one or is it the ones you would need at the airport please get um put your documents in your bag also your important i don't know you might have important jewelries you might have important things just try to put them in those in your hand luggage your laptop please put it in your hand luggage 
they won't, I don't even think at the airport anybody's because they are going to still screen those bags, scan those bags. I'm sure they will still tell you to take the laptop out of your um, of your checked in bag. So um, that's that's it for your documents in your hand luggage. Now, when it comes to clothing, please and please don't pack your whole wardrobe. I'd advise you just get trousers, your shirt, thick, your, try to put your thick clothes, your sweater, you don't see what they wear now, your long sleeves, just take a few. When you come here, you can buy. I didn't say don't bring clothes at all. Please bring is important. Bring the ones you have. I mean, don't go to the market to go and start buying clothes because you're traveling. When you come here, you can buy, but try to bring the ones you have, you know. So, um, your winter jacket, please get a jacket. One, at least. Please get one winter jacket. You're going to hold it. No need of putting it in your bag because, trust me, it's going to take up space in that bag. So, your winter jacket is really important. You're going to need it at the airport. You're going to need it at the airport. <laughs> Because what happened to me, I don't want it to happen to you. You're going to need that jacket. I didn't buy jacket. I was like, oh, well, it's no winter, so I can cope. Come on. When I got to the airport, thank God my husband brought jacket for me. Because when we got to the airport, hey, <laughs> I was just like fish. They brought out of water. This I was, I was just shivering. I could not even, I could not hide it. Please don't be like me. Bring your winter jacket. Hold it. Don't check it. Don't put it inside your bag so it doesn't take space. You can put important things in that bag. So hold your winter jacket. When it comes to your shoes, please don't go and be... Don't even... Don't bother... Don't bother bringing your heels. If you want to bring heel, please bring one. Because trust me, you're not even going to be here. You're not going... You're not going to wear it. You're not going to wear it. You're not going to wear it. All you're going to be wearing here is sneakers. Sneakers. So if you have sneakers here, yeah, you can bring... Some of your sneakers then you can bring some of your sneakers um, um if you're coming with kids please yeah don't still still and still don't go and be packing clothes you can get some clothes here when you come don't go and pack space you're supposed to use and put food stuff the most in the important test of it all you go and carry it and be packing clothes please at least for me my clothes and my kids' clothes contained just one bag. Every other bag contained food. So please, your clothes, this is all for your clothes. Um, what else? Eh? Did I say what else? Hey, you've not come to the major thing. Your food. When I mean food, please, I'm talking of your... Sorry, sorry, sorry. Let me go back to the clothes. Please bring, if you're the type that like wearing Ankara, you love wearing your native wears, please bring them. Because trust me, you ain't gonna sew it here. Except say you have money, you can't sew it here. So please bring some. Well, come in. Someone like me, I <laughs> just for later, <laughs> I brought, in fact, you can see it now, everything Ankara I brought. So when it comes to your food, please, 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 please. Food is like, after your documents, the food is like most important. The important is important. Please bring your local food. You know, if you're like me, that don't know how to try out new foods, that don't know how to, in fact, no matter how good it is, I just cannot try it. Please bring your local food. Bring things like your um cubes you can get cubes here but bring your cubes if you love a particular one like the nor your royco bring them while coming bring carafish please bring your carafish is expensive here it's really expensive so please do well to bring your crayfish and when okay we'll, we'll talk about that part later on Bring your crayfish, bring your dried fish, bring your egusi or bono, bring anything that you know you would want to eat. Now, when you're bringing those things, do well to divide them. When I say divide, no matter how small, no matter how small it is, please do well to divide it. 
Now, if you're like me that have space, you know, you don't just have 46 kg to yourself. Do, in fact, even if you have 46 kg, divide. In fact, that's the more reason why you have to divide. If you're bringing bills like this, don't bring it like this. Divide it into at least three different nylons. No matter how small it is, try to divide it. You know why? That one is just for later, but divide them. Put them in small, 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 small bags. You know, bring those food. Make sure they are packed very, very well. All your foods, please pack them in a clear Ziploc bag and label it well. So it's not when you get to the airport, they'll start asking you, what is this? Please open this one. Open, ah, my dear. No matter how early you get there, you might still run late. You don't want to hear a story. You don't want to hear, ah, the flight has gone right in your front. So please label them well and package it well so that it doesn't bust. So that you will not still be like me. So that it doesn't bust open. Now, we are getting to the most important part of it, how to pack your food stuff and how to package it. Now, okay, so this, this one is my palm oil. I am not going to say don't bring palm oil. In fact, if it is not allowed, please don't bring it. But me, I brought, I was lucky to have this one. So as I packaged it. Why was I able to, they, they seized my palm oil, they seized my oil, but why was I able to still get two rubbers was because I divided. So like them. I said, we're getting to the main part that's packing your food stuff and packaging it well. Um, in here, you know why you have to package your food stuff well? Number one, you see those very smelly ones? You don't want them to, hmm, hmm, oh my, Jesus Christ. So here I have my Okme local, it's called local Maggi. I pack I put it in a rubber but and they even used um cello tape to seal it, but it's still smelling a bit compared to when you put it in a ziploc bag. This one is my ogiribo. Yes, that's what they call it, right? My my ogiri for my oha soup and my onubu soup. I put it there and then I still Put it. You know, since I opened this plate now, it was seriously smelling. I still put it in this plate. If you put, as I say, package it well. When you package it well, nobody can perceive anything. Now, I'm going to give you one gist. Okay, here is also my crayfish. One tip I want you to know, or, I, or something I want, it, want you to know is, always try to put your powdered stuff in a rubber rather than a ziplock bag. Don't just go and carry your, like this is my ground crayfish now. If you put your ground crayfish in a ziplock bag, if something happens and it bursts open or something pierces the bag, it's going to pour over your stuff. Secondly, it's going to smell in that bag. Crayfish smells so badly. But see here, nothing is smelling. You see this one? You know even if you know say crayfish, you can't even know that crayfish is near you. So please put your powdered stuff. Here's the other one. Please try to put your powdered stuff in a rubber rather than a Ziploc bag. Now, I was talking about dividing your stuff. Also, don't forget to bring your leaves. They can be very expensive. Make sure to dry them very well from your crayfish to your bono to your egg. See, dry out everything well, so dry them. So that they can be, you know, less weighty and, you know, really dry. So that I, some people said when they came here, they are born God spoiled, they are going to see God spoiled. Ne, dry it well and don't blend everything. Don't go and blend it and say, yeah, you come here, you might not see blender. Even if you want to blend, you can blend small till you get here, but don't blend everything. Now, I told you to always try to divide your stuff. If you know you don't have enough space, for your luggage, divide your stuff, especially if you don't have a weighing scale. Just in case you get to the airport and your bag is more than it's supposed to, because you divided your stuff, you can just easily pull out, oh, my beans. Because some people said when they went to the airport, they did not come with beans, they packed beans, so but they did not come with the beans to the UK because it weighed a lot and they had to drop it. Nah, it should not be your case, my dear. Not after you've seen this video. This is your beans now. As you've seen that this is the amount of beans you want to carry. Please divide it into three or four parts. 
even if it's to put it inside small small nylon and still put it in one ziploc bag so when you get there is with the time you have instead of just bringing it out you everything out you just take out two from this side keep or keep away maybe if it's your gary that you brought you can take out some from the gary because you've divided it you won't just lose everything because you're trying to um you're trying um not to have excess luggage you won't just bring out your whole it's very painful it's really painful for you to come here and start buying them at outrageous prices so try to divide no matter how you see except the very the very small ones always try to divide your stuff now when you want to pack your stuff in your bags you know that your ghana bag i think i need an example of the i'll put it in the screen your ghana bag weighs very if it doesn't weigh anything weighs little or nothing compared to your box your ecolac box your um, plastic box so when you're packing your stuff try to put the just like this thing now it's not heavy but it's 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 much it said matter occupies space but it occupies space because you know as compared to this this is heavier than this but this um takes more space things like your ghana school we contain all these things put them inside your ghana school then when you put those ones that occupy a lot of space in your ghana school then take few heavy stuff and put there to equate it because if you put things that take space like this in your box in your box your box will just get filled up without you understand so try to put it in your ghana bag and take some heavy things to put to equate your bag then when you're packing in your box put those um things like your those things like your fish um okay let me tell you guys what i did i had a box an ecolag box and i had a ghana bag now one thing about these airport people is once they see that your ghana must go or that your ghana bag they will automatically think it's your food stuff and that's where their eye will be now the reason why i was able i was able to escape with my oil was because i don't think they saw that i don't think they put their eye in the where my box was passing because i put that oil inside my box and my ecolac box now i use my ecolac box to pack everything fish all my dried fish my oboroko my mangala every single thing called fish because you know that, that one can smell so i put them in my box and also because they didn't weigh up to my 23 kg they didn't weigh so much i had to put heavy things like my my stock cubes i put them because that stock cubes ha huh, it weighed so much so i put it inside that box to my oil even my grounded goosey i put inside that box now when your your stock cubes rather than just putting it like that inside your bag you can open it and pour it in your bag so that the weight doesn't you know it will be equal, like it will be equal it will be every since it's scattered everywhere there's no particular space there's no particular place that is being weighed down because of the weight of that cube so um when you're packing know that your box has just tell yourself oh my box is weighing extra 2 kg so don't go and put things too much just like the way you're going to put in your ghana musgo that doesn't weigh so much and then when you're packing please don't mix your clothes and your foodstuffs try to pack your clothes in one place your clothes your document your um maybe your toiletries your hair stuff I didn't tell you to bring that part, but you could please bring I forgot to tell you to bring it. It's important too. When you come here, you will see it even cheaper. But if you have already, please bring them along. Your straighteners. Ah, my dear, I'll still show you people how I pack those things. In order for those ones. Even my ring lights. I put my ring lights in my box. In my plastic box. All my fragile stuff, I put them in a plastic box. Rather than my echo, like I knew that maybe stories can come out of that one because they might step on it but my plastic box i want it, it can hardly get broken or so this is it for this particular video i hope you learned one or two um from it please if you did share this video like it say something you can ask questions i'm going to in the next video i'm going to show you what i packed in my bag i'll show you every almost everything i brought with me um i packed in my bag so your palm i packed in my bag so please don't forget to like 
comment and please subscribe please support this girl support me welcome to my family i want you to be part of my family too it's nice meeting you in advance thank you